What's up guys, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. My name is Ryan Blas and today we're going to talk about the latest update of the NerdQX++ and a new amazing feature that they've included as part of this update and that is the ability to mine for two coins at one time. Let's take a look at this here. Okay, so this is the new dual pool feature and what this allows you to do is mine for two coins at one time just like I said. Now, if you are not familiar with this, the NerdQX++ is one of my favorite desktop miners. It costs about 400 USD. It gets about six terahashes per second. It's a great device. But the big debate with these things has always been, what do you mine for with it? Do you try to get a Bitcoin block or do you try to solo mine a Bitcoin cash block? Now your odds are a lot lower of solo mining a Bitcoin block, but of course the reward is much higher. Your odds are a little better with a Bitcoin cash block, but the reward is a little bit lower. And so it's this conflict that people have. Do I go for the gold here or do I go for something a little more realistic? Well, now you don't have to have that internal struggle any longer because now you can mine for two coins at one time. This is how this thing works. So when you update the firmware, it's like any other firmware update that you've ever done. If you've ever done a firmware update, you just go to settings here, you go down to the bottom, and in previous versions, there's a button that says, like, check for the latest update. Now, when you click that button, it will show you what the latest update is if you're not running the most current. It will allow you to download both files that you need to update both your device and the dashboard, which is the thing that we're looking at right here. So pretty simple to do. Download those things, drag them over to your downloads, your desktop or whatever, and then you simply browse for them and then flash the device. See, it's got this legacy update because all that's changed now too. Now you can just select whatever firmware you want to use. So let's say you want to restore a previous version. You just select it from the dropdown, you press install from GitHub, and then you're running a prior version. But check this thing out. So right now I am mining a 50-50 split. So 50% Bitcoin cash and 50% Bitcoin. But the cool thing is here is you've got this handy, beautiful slider that you can slide back and forth, hence the name slider, and you can determine how much of your miner's hash rate you want to allocate towards each coin. So you can do a 50-50 split and you can change it within increments of 1%. So you can do like 99% and 1%. You can do 70-30, you can do 40-60, whatever you want to do. If you're one of these guys that's got a whole bunch of these things, it's probably not going to be as exciting for you because you can just use one of your miners for Bitcoin. You can use another one for Bitcoin Cash. But especially for those folks who are getting into this and just have one device, I think this update is really great. But for those of us who do have a lot of these things, the nice thing is, is now with a slider, you can just slide back and forth. So let's just say for the day or, you know, with the week you want to mine for Bitcoin Cash. You just drag the slider over and you press save. That's all you have to do. Now, previously, you would have to input all the pool information for, let's say, the Bitcoin cash pool, restart your device, and then when you wanted to switch back to Bitcoin, you had to enter all the pool information for Bitcoin, restart the device. Didn't take long, but it was kind of a hassle. Uh, now, you don't have to do that at all. You can just slide this thing back and forth depending on how you're feeling at any given moment on any particular day, and you are good to go. So. Pretty amazing, guys. Pretty amazing. One device, two coins, endless possibilities. The other thing that's pretty cool about this is if you notice this line right here, which is the hash rate, uh, it is super flat and stable, like a lake on the early morning where it kind of looks like glass and the sunrise just reflects off of the lake and it looks beautiful. The fish is jumping. The day is just beginning. Uh, that's what this looks like. In the past, it was kind of like this there were all these peaks and valleys in fact if you check out one of my other devices let's take a look at like a gamma gt you can see that the hash rate is going up and down and up and down peaks valleys peaks valleys and that's pretty normal it's just the way these things are they you know they're pretty stable um this looks a little bit more dramatic than it actually is because it's only going from 2.35 to about 2.55 at its highest so again it looks like it's going crazy but it's relatively stable uh, but if you check out the NerdQX++, man, that thing is glassy smooth. And I'm not exactly sure how they're achieving this. I'm not sure if it's a situation where they're averaging the hash rate differently, uh, the way that they're calculating it out, or if there's some sort of wizardry taking place that is just causing this thing to run super smooth and efficient now. I'm not really sure. Um, I've reached out to the developers on the OSMU Discord to ask them this question because I want to know. I'm curious to know what's going on under the hood. 
Uh, but I haven't gotten a response back yet, although I just asked them like an hour ago. So, you know, they're busy. They're doing stuff. But I would like to know exactly why that is happening. So overall, pretty great. Now, this update actually works for a few other devices, too. So I know it works for like the Nerd Octax and a couple of others. Um, and I think I'm going to add it for like the Gamma Turbos and a couple of other things, too. I have not tried those devices, only the Nerd QX++. Now, the Nerd QX++ is one of my favorite desktop miners of all time. And it just so happens that I have on my Nerd QX++ block found uh, Adidas beautiful sweatshirt, which is soft and wonderful and available on carpoosmining.com. This little logo right here, or this design, is what displays on the LCD if your device happens to solo mine a Bitcoin block. You get this beautiful block found display that pops up. And so in honor of that, I created this sweatshirt. But enough about my beautiful sweatshirt. Let's get back to the NerdQX++. It's a great device. Um, one of the important things to note is it's an open source device. And so there are a ton of people that make this thing and sell it. Now, being open source, anyone with the capability can and does uh, sell these things or mass produce them. Some of them are great. They are very well constructed. They use good components. Some are made of the absolute shittiest bottom of the barrel components that someone could source. They're cranked out in a factory that was making kitchen appliances a couple of months ago. There are two manufacturers that I love as far as this device is concerned. So I really love Solo Satoshi's Revision 6. I also love Tiny Chip Hub's remastered Nerd QX++. Nerd QX++ is a weird, I don't know who came up with the name. And it's, it doesn't really roll off the tongue. And it's one of those things like, you know how when you say a word over and over and over again, it kind of starts to lose its meaning? That's what's happening with me as I'm saying Nerd QX++ over and over and over again in this video. I'm gonna shorten it, I'm gonna call it like the NQA. Even that doesn't roll off the tongue, NQA. So I don't want to say it anymore. I've said it enough. You know what I'm talking about. The Bitcoin miner. We're going to call it the Bitcoin miner for the rest of this video. Um, it's pretty much the deal with this thing. It's a firmware update. What more do you want me to say? It still does the same thing. It's got a, cool, a couple of cool new features, but, you know, it still has a one in a million shot of actually doing what it's supposed to do. So may never do it. This thing may sit on my desk and eat electricity for the rest of my natural life on this earth. And it may never ever ever succeed in its task but on the flip side of that i could wake up tomorrow and find that one of my several nerd qx plus pluses oh my god i said it again uh has solo mined a bitcoin block and now i can go make a bunch of frivolous purchases like a, a zebra and a ferrari with zebra stripes and then i'll just be the guy in my neighborhood that everybody calls the zebra guy and i like the sound of that i kind of want to be the zebra guy so we'll see what happens i wake up tomorrow i, I solo mine a block bitcoin block Crazy stuff's gonna happen, folks. I'm getting myself a zebra come hell or high water. Maybe, I don't know, we'll think about it. Anyway, let me know if you got any questions. Uh, leave me a comment if you'd like. I always appreciate the support uh, when you leave your likes and you're you know, giving me your subscriptions. That lets me know I'm doing a good job and that I should continue making videos. And so, and it means the world to me. I'm not gonna beg you to subscribe if you don't want to. That's okay, you don't have to, you don't. Uh, but if you do, it's, I appreciate the support, I really do. Um, so that's pretty much all I got. Got some more videos coming up soon. Got any questions, let me know. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you next time.